Hi friends, today I'm going to talk about traditional full moon names. Full moons have given names in many ancient cultures. The full moon names we use today often reflect the changing season and nature, like harvest moon, strawberry moon or snow moon. In ancient times, it was common to track the changing seasons by following the lunar month rather than the solar year, which our modern calendar is based on. The full moon in January is the wolf moon, named after Halloween wolf, which may stem from the Anglo Saxon lunar calendar. Other names Moon of the Yule, Old Moon, Ice Moon, and Snow Moon. The Snow Moon is the full moon in February, named after the snow condition. The last full moon of the winter season in March is the Worm Moon because of the earthworms that come out at the end of winter. The full moon in April is the pink moon, from the pink flowers that bloom in the early spring. The May full moon is known as the flower moon, to signify the flowers that bloom during this month. June's full moon is the strawberry moon, as these little red berries ripen at this time. Other names are hot moon, mint moon, and rose moon. The full moon for the month of July is called the bark moon, to signify the new antlers that emerge on the fierce bark forehead around this time. The full moon for August is called Sturgeon Moon because of the large numbers of fish in the lake. The full moon in the month of September in the old farmer's almanac is called Harvest Moon. Traditionally, people in the northern hemisphere spend the month of October preparing for the coming winter by hunting. This led to October's full moon beginning to call the hunters. According to folklore, the full moon in November is named after beavers who become active while preparing for the winter. December is the month when winter begins for the most of the northern hemisphere and the full moon is called the cold moon. Some years have 13 full moons, which makes at least one of them a blue moon. As this doesn't quite fit with the traditional full moon names, I hope you know about the traditional moons. Thank you for watching. See you next time.